Hello. 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 So today we are coming at you from Kumamoto Prefecture, which is also known as the home of Mount Aso, which happens to be Japan's most volcanically active volcano. Yeah. That also means that it is full to the brim of onsen water. So today we are in Kurokawa Onsen, one of Kyushu's most famous onsens, to get in the bath. Yeah. Tanajimi. Let's go. It has been a long, long time since we have had a private bath. Oh, it's so nice and warm in here. It's so cozy. So outside this morning, it was minus three degrees. In this entire area, they keep the taps running like all day long because yeah. they think the pipes are gonna freeze and explode. So I'm hoping that this onsen is as gorgeous as this room feels. <laughs> Straight into the onsen. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, onsen smells. Quite eggy. Our own little private garden too. Yeah. So it has been a very long time since I've done an onsen tour. The last yeah. onsen that I think we took together was in Hokkaido, in the middle of nature, with none of all of this nice facilities. So we have our little shower over here. We have our soap. We have our conditioner slash shampoo situation. We have our little thing so you can get it because not even kidding this must be straight from the source with that smell it must be absolutely boiling and i cannot wait to get in it so i think it's time for us to get changed and get in there <laughs> November last year it reopened so we get to see where all of this came from. <laughs> yeah, but I can feel this is real, real onsen. That's relaxing. Uh -huh. Your body will be like light after onsen or something. Yeah, this feels like we can really chill out. We can also be together which is the first time in a while. Now basically all that's left to do is to uh, boil like eggs. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> also, it's just really nice that we are able to take a bath together yeah. for the first time in forever. Private onsen. Yeah. Absolutely the best. So Aso is not only famous for its beautiful onsen, yeah. it is also beautiful for its beautiful food. <laughs> so we've cleansed our bodies and now it's time to cleanse our insides with Aso's very own takana meshi. So takana is mustard leaves and meshi is like rice. So takana, mustard leaves on top of rice, which can only be eaten here because Aso has its very own special takana made with all of that fertile soil that we saw on our drive here. But right now we are at Asoji, which is apparently the original place that it was created. I have a look at this. You see little Aso giving yeah. off some smoke up and 
Another yeah. thing famous in yeah. Kumamoto, Kumamon. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh. And we get coffee service, we get tea service, we get all of the skimono pickled things. A feast, the most local food possible. Yeah. Right, first, I guess I should try some of the skimono. Uh huh. Thank you, Mama. So the difference between the Tokyo or like Japan general one and this one apparently is that the stems are really thin and it's supposed to be like a little bit more crunchy so I don't know if this is, what is this? This is seaweed or something I think as well. <laughs> Try a little bit of everything first. Uh -huh. Why not? I can't. It's a good like texture profile, they're all a little bit like texturally different. That daikon was really crunchy. Finally! Kabu? Kabu kana? Kabu. Maybe. Some kind of radishy thing. Very crunchy. Yeah. Mm. Can you? Can you? Yeah. Okay, some more. Okay. Now. Main event. Uh-huh. So you give you a little bit of egg, a little bit of ginger, and this. Look at that. Oh, with some egg too. That's so good. A little bit more crunchy than usual. Mm -hmm. It's really flavorful too. You'd think like yeah, just a bit of yeah. You would think that like most of the flavor would come from the egg or something, but I think they like pickle it in salt or something. So yeah, it really brings out the flavor. Yum. <laughs> Feast after onsen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, you don't need the pickles first. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> too excited for the main event. Uwa. What's this? It's a but new. <laughs> Sometimes you, you eat at home. I do. Hmm, but this is not home quality. Hmm, <laughs> Can I try? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did it taste? It's so perfect. Okay, so one more fun fact for you. The aso takana is not cut down, it is picked by hand with something called the asana takana. <laughs> the tagana fold. So they basically pick every single one of those leaves by hand by folding it until it snaps. Mm. So it's hard work, which is why it tastes so good. <laughs> it's quite salty. What do you get for rice tagana? I feel like this is something you get in like a bento or something. Yeah, that kind of like whole meat taste. Mm -hmm. It's in the soup. Mm. So the reason that this was actually created is because the owner had like 12 kids mm -hmm. so she needed like all of the rice to go like further so <laughs> she put this in to make it like interesting I guess. I think it's kind of nice that you can get this just like tamping as well right? Just mm. by itself. Like you can of course get sets but that's all we need. And they have like pickles. And salsa, coffee <laughs> and tea. Definitely enough. I mean, we couldn't appreciate the onsen and the takana, takana, takana without visiting the source of all of that beauty. I mean, all you can see is cloud right now, but that over there is Aso, A S O, very much. Lots of volcano. So today's safe thing. Thankfully. Yay. Maz, never been. But mass. And also, look at how much snow there is. Yeah, still cold. Like, <laughs> next to the volcano, but. Uh -huh, it's bizarre. Also, kind of terrifying. Yeah. It's just open now, actually. Yeah. The last time it erupted was 2021, and it opened up again in November, so literally like two months ago. Should we see inside one of these? So basically, if you hear a boo 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 or go 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 or something, you come in here. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they're not kidding. No kidding. It's extremely active. It is Japan's most active volcano. And you can get this close. Can you smell the egg? 
from this morning. <laughs> no, but like seriously, it smells like an onsen. That cloud plume. I mean, uh, that's no cloud. Smoke. No. Smoke. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh. But on a whole much bigger level. <laughs> Different level. Quite. That's kind of scary, but we live on this planet. I can realize coming here. Nature is amazing. I think the thing that I appreciate about this is that like it's quite high up, but you don't have to hike. <laughs> you can literally <laughs> just come up in a car. Yeah. Which also makes me feel a bit more relaxed because uh, we have our getaway vehicle very close. You definitely come here at your own risk. Like they give you a warning before you come in if you've got like asthma or heart problems or whatever, you can't come up. There's also places, parts of it that are still like inaccessible to maybe the public, maybe to anyone, I don't know. But it's kind of impressive that we're able to come up here after it being closed for so long. So that over there, I think, is the old crater, right? So multiple craters. Is it? So that's what it says on the map. But uh, right now we can't enter. So this is about as far as we get. I think that's enough for me. <laughs> I was scared at the top of Miyaka. This is a different whole level. different danger level. <laughs> Although it is blue today, so we're okay. The other crater here. Ah. Oh, oh that. Unknown. Looks like. <gasps> Look at that! The window. Egg. 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 Time to time ago. <laughs> <sighs> now I sort of safely ish away from it. <laughs> yeah. We can appreciate it a bit better, I think. <laughs> that is massive. Mm -hmm. It's weird though. It's much lower than I expected. Like in my mind, it kind of looked like that mountain over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like very kind of steep, your stereotypical kind of volcano, but it's quite broad and quite short. That's also like actually volcano, right? Mm -hmm. The town is like in the volcano. Yeah, people live in the caldera, so they've turned it into a city. Yeah. It's so strange. You can see like the top of the ridge of all those mountains. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Bizarre. It's a, it's a very unique place yeah. to live, I'm sure. And when it's summer, really green and mm. You can go horse riding here apparently. Yeah. I did see some horses while we were on our way here, but yeah. right now I think it is a bit too cold. There is still snow on top of those mountains. Yeah, so actually you can see the bottom bit, like water bit. <laughs> when it's not so windy. <laughs> or like after rainy raining, days yeah. or something. It's been like dry, like yeah. 10 days, We've not rainy. We've been very, raining. very lucky. Despite yeah. there still being snow, we have had a lot of sunshine. Yeah. I like that. Uh-huh. But uh, starting to get a little bit cold up here now that yeah. the sun's starting to set. The yeah. uh, warmth of all that onsen has kind of started to drain from my body. So uh, I think it might be time to get back in that van, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have enjoyed another crazy tour around mm -hmm. Japan in Kumamoto Prefecture. If you want to see more prefectures of Japan, do not forget. Like, subscribe and share. Have a look at our coffee page, etc, etc. Hi. Hey, no. Jenny.